Hey guys, just a reminder, this is not official medical advice. For such, please seek an appointment with a licensed medical provider. Methylene Blue picked up a bottle this week. What is the typical recommended dose? Is the dosage affected by age or gender? Should the dose ever be increased due to illness? Okay, so if you're feeling like you've got you know, COVID, flu, et cetera, uh, should you increase the dose? I'm assuming this is the liquid, Shelly. Uh, if, if, if it's not, let me know. Uh, but how would you answer this? Let's do well, a, answer liquid and the capsules. Well, that's a good question. Um, yeah, um, it's not affected by age or gender, really. Again, I only treat adults meaning age 15 and up. Uh, but um, I usually start out, if you're on the liquid, it's 0.5 milligram per drop. So, you know, I usually start out kind of low, you know, eight drops a day for the first week, go up, work your way up to 16, go to 32 if you really have a lot of problems like long COVID or dementia. Um, so start out at eight drops, um, the pills, um, and remember take vitamin C with it. It just makes it work a lot better. And that's the pills called NeuroProtect. Um, that is, I think in one of those pills, which has vitamin C in with it already, um, it's, I think 15 milligrams. So it's a little higher dose. So if you're hesitant about it, start out with a liquid. That's what I did. Now I'll take the pill every morning, but, um, you know, I've had a few people that felt a little hyped up on it. Um, I've never seen it cause serotonin syndrome. Uh, but if you're on a SSRI or an MAO inhibitor, you may want to be just cautious. Use a low dose of it. Maybe start out at four drops. Because if you are, it may, it may uh, hype you up again. I've never seen a serotonin syndrome out of it. Should you get a G6PD test? Um, because of that risk and that one in a million people that's low on G6PD, which we always check when we're given high doses of IV vitamin C. But I, I don't even check for it because we're not, we're not using that high dose to, to really bother with it. Um, and yeah, if you get sick, I, you can go up, you know, to 32 milligrams uh, or 32 drops, 16 milligrams, or you can even, you can even go higher than that. That's still low doses. Um, you know, I have a lot of people that are on the, the, uh, NeuroProtect 15 milligram, take two a day. So they're getting, yep. you know, 30 milligrams. Um, so yeah, it's really worked great for long COVID. It helps you breathe better. Um, it's just a natural, all everything, uh, type medication. Remember my statement, uh, when you, when you're in the hospital as a doctor in, in an emergency situation, when you're not sure what to do reach for the methylene blue it rhymes too. So I hope that helps you. It's great. It's great. It'll make you alert, breathe better. It's got some natural, uh, antiviral, antibacterial, antiparasitic functions. It's just a great medicine. I love it.